Three tips to selling a house in probate. Hey guys, this is Brad with ArborviewHomeBuyers.com and GeorgiaProbateResource.com. We are a real estate solutions company in Metro Atlanta. We buy houses all over the state of Georgia um, and we specialize in the probate and inheritance niche of real estate. We've been doing it for a number of years and we've bought a lot of houses. So really appreciate you checking out this video. So three tips to selling a house in probate. Number one, I think is the most important tip, and we, we see this time and time again, is setting expectations with the heirs. Make sure that you're setting expectations as to what you're gonna sell the house for, who you're gonna sell the house to, how quickly you're gonna sell the house, what are you gonna do to get the house ready to sell? What are you gonna do if it doesn't sell for what you thought it was gonna sell for? Do you have a backup plan, right? So you need to make sure that you're setting expectations up front. So that's tip number one. Tip number two is get your paperwork in order. Make sure that you have all your paperwork in order. If you're not done with probate yet, which means in order to sell that house, you're going to need to have, and, and there are some exceptions to this, but 90 plus percent of the time you need these one of these documents. You need your letters of administration or you need your letters testamentary. A letters testamentary is if you are the executor and there was a will. Letters of administration is if there was not a will and you're doing an administration of the estate. So um, you as the administrator or the executor, you need to make sure that you have one of these documents in your possession. These documents are going to grant you the authority or the power to sell the assets or the house on behalf of the estate. So as soon as you have that document in your possession, you can sell the property. If you get the document this morning, you can sell that house this afternoon if you wanted to. And we've done that before actually. So make sure you got all your paperwork in order because the last thing you want to do is go, you know, either go under contract with an investor or you list the house on the market and you get under contract and you're ready to close and the closing attorney says, hey, I need your letters of administration in order to sell this house or I need your letters testamentary and you say, oh, I don't have that yet. You can't close yet. They won't close the sale until you have that document. So make sure you've got that in your possession or make sure you know that you're gonna be getting that here in the next, let's say 30 days because you gotta have that document in order to sell the house. Okay, so um, the other thing to do is um, Make sure you're selling with or selling to an experienced company. So if you're gonna list the house the traditional way with a real estate agent, make sure you're working with a real estate agent who's experienced in the world of probate and inheritance because 90 some odd plus percent of the real estate agents out there are clueless around what happens in a sale with an estate or, or through probate or, or through inheritance. They don't know. So all of a sudden they're gonna think, that, that they, just, they just don't know. They're not gonna be a good advisor to you during this process and they might miss some things or they might tell you the wrong things or they might set your expectations a little higher that they're gonna sell your house in a week and then they find out you don't have the documents like I said in step two and then now you're stuck, right? So make sure you're selling to a company who knows what they're doing and has experience in this field because that experience is very, very important. If you're selling to a fast cash investor like us, um, make sure that you're working with a reputable company who actually knows what they're doing. There are so many people out there that promise that buy houses cash and blah, blah, blah. In the last probably few years since I've been in this business in the, in the age of the internet and YouTube and, and TikTok and Instagram and all these videos, there are so many people that call themselves investors that like last week they worked at Wendy's and they like they don't know what they're doing. And it's not to say that everybody's got to start somewhere. I started somewhere, right? Everyone starts, but a lot of them don't take the time to educate themselves, to become a more savvy uh, investor, to, um, to, to have people skills. I can't tell you how many of these investors I've spoken with that have no people skills whatsoever and can't talk to people. They're disrespectful. They, they, just, they don't listen to sellers because there's a lot of, especially in the inheritance and the probate world, um, it's, they're very complicated and these are very emotional situations and very complicated situations. And um, one of the things that we pride ourselves with at our company is we stop and we listen and we listen to your problems and we listen to all of the dynamics of the situation and we tailor our approach to 
resolving your situation. So make sure you're working with a reputable company. There's also a lot of guys out there that are gonna offer you these crazy prices. We just went on an appointment last week uh, where a um, this guy got, I think he said he got four offers on the house. He had four different offers. Uh, he wanted $130,000 for this property. Um, and uh, these four investors came in and one investor offered him $140,000 for the property. And the other three investors offered him, we offered him 121. And I, I wanted to give him 130, but when we got to the property, there was a major structural issue on the property. The, the, the rim board, which I'm, some of you don't know these construction terms, the rim board on the back deck was rotten. And what was happening is the rim board is what holds up your walls and your floor system. And because the rim board was rotten with water damage, the whole back wall of the house had sunk down like an inch and a half. So all the windows upstairs had all cracked. Everything was sagging down and falling in because that rim board was rotten and compromised. So I said, hey man, I, I would love to give you 130 and I could have given you 130 for this house, but it's gonna cost me probably seven, eight, 10 grand to go fix all the structural issues and fix this problem. And, and I, everything else, he was pretty spot on with his numbers. He went out and did a, got a bunch of estimates and stuff, but he didn't have the experience to see the structural issue and know what was happening. And immediately, as soon as I saw it, I knew what was, what was going on there. So we offered him 121, another offer, investor offered him 122, another one was like 123 or something. So we were like really close in the ballpark. But then they had this one guy up here that was 140 and he's like, well, I'm gonna go with this guy because he's he gave me my 130 plus more. And I'm like, that's great. I, I hope that deal works out for you. But I know the numbers and I know what this property is worth and I know how much it's gonna cost to fix this house. And I don't think that that investor, I think that investor is gonna figure out that they made a mistake and did their numbers wrong and they're going to end up either renegotiating you down or backing out of that contract and leave you hanging. So just be prepared. We're gonna stay in touch with them. We'll follow up with them and, and so on and so forth. But just make sure you're dealing with a reputable company who knows what they're doing. There are a lot of people out there who don't. So I hope that helps. Again, three tips. Setting expectations, making sure your paperwork in order, and making sure you're working with a reputable company. Do those three things and I think you'll have good success. So thanks again guys, I'm Brad with ArborViewHomeBuyers.com and GeorgiaProbateResource.com. Like I said, we're a real estate solutions company in Metro Atlanta. We buy houses for cash or we can list the house for you the traditional way. So thanks again guys, appreciate it, have a nice day, bye bye.